It's been a great year for Compton. Yes. Shout out to Compton. Shout out to Compton. Yes. Compton does it again. Yeah. Does it again. Before we get into Chupacabra, come on. Talk to me about uh, what it was like just watching Kendrick Lamar deep fry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. fry him up and give him a, I've never, it was, the, it was like, it was like King Ryan, you know, when he fucked up, uh, what's the dude's name he just boxed? Hey, Haney. It was bad. Before I start, because my words get taken really sensitively around this subject. I've been seeing you. I saw you going in on Twitter. Oh, yeah, I'm going in because I'm like, I, I'm, I didn't know Drake had a beehive. Until, me neither. Oh, my God. Bro, bro, I got bots in my shit. I can't say anything. Bro. Motherfuckers think I'm talking about Drake or talking about somebody Because I was going, riding so hard for Kendrick the whole time before he even replied to fucking push-ups, all that shit. I was like, man, hey, bro, them fucking Drake beehive, it's real. It's real. He got, like, some real haters. Like, they pulling know. up shit. They pulling up my numbers. I'm like, bro, this is wild. Like, I'm not. They wait. pulled up, like, an old tweet of me saying, like, Drake was dope. And I'm like, yeah, Drake is dope. But he's still going to get fucking obliterated. What are we taller. talking about here? Like, yeah, there's man. levels. Listen, to this, I, I, I look at this as a very competitive Super Bowl as opposed to two guys going at it. It was like, this is the team I'm rooting for, and that's the team they're rooting for. Yeah. So, I knew how this was going to end right? because I knew the guy that you were going against, Drake. Right. I know him. All of us know him. Mm -hmm. Some people, you just got to leave the fuck alone. He's the one guy, actually. I'll look at him. I, I hold him to, like, you have LeBron James, which is Drake. Yeah. And you have Kobe Bryant. You got somebody that only cares about basketball. Listen, listen, listen. listen, listen. Let's not do that. I'm, I'm just sorry. telling you. I know, I know. He only cares about hip hop. He only, he don't give a fuck about none of the other shit. It's win or win. It ain't nothing. Else. I'm a big LeBron guy, so I don't want. I don't. I'm just tell you what it I is. I would say Steph Curry is Drake. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm saying LeBron is Drake. LeBron changed basketball. He changed the way we all viewed competition. We made it where you can play anywhere and everybody's friends and, and it worked out where all everybody's making so much money. And Kobe's and like, fuck you. I'm going to take you, your head fuck off. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you and all that. It's up. Let's go play. Yeah. That's fair. And if you want to calm it down, we'll say Kyrie did. If you want to do that. That's fair. That's fair. This We know he's one of the most skillful artists to ever live, Kendrick, right? I think he's... I mean, I've been saying this for about four or five years. I've had him four or five all time, and people will be like, you're fucking crazy. And I'm like, well, if, if all these other motherfuckers will put Biggie in their top two or three and he only put two albums out, you got to put Kendrick in the top five off of his discography alone. I'll say this. But skill level, he I might be. It's I don't, like, I don't it's know. It's like Kendrick and Eminem. I don't know when this is going to air, but I'll say this. Y'all tell me a time on a Friday when a J. Cole verse and a Drake verse dropped and nobody gave a shit. Because that just happened this Friday. Well, I was going to say, a lot, a lot of times. This yeah. Friday, that just passed. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. When the sexy red and the, the, the new Culver. We've never yeah. seen that. And we ain't seen that in 10 years. Oh, for sure. And I'd also like to point out, for the first time ever, I actually think Drake being on that song hurt the song. I think people are so off of Drake right now. The sexy red song that dropped has more dislikes than likes on YouTube. And it's like, yo, like sexy red, you probably could have put like, I don't know, fucking anybody on this. We'll just, we'll just say this. Um, I called it. I knew it was gonna happen. Oh, I knew it was gonna happen too. I knew it was gonna happen, and but I had I was privy to being. You had some inside I, info, I'm sure. I was able to have different conversations with the with the internal uh, Compton Unity right. community, and we were all just knowing how this was gonna end. We were like, every move it was like a chess game, and we were just watching it. It was dope. It was dope to see. It was dope to actually get some insight from the man himself. Knowing like, oh yeah, let's rock, let's do it. But it never got to the point where it was like, we're gonna fucking fight or shoot. So it made me ever, it made me, I was able to enjoy it. You know what's crazy to me was like my favorite song of the battle is is Euphoria because it's the most like it was literally a warning shot. Right. But it was like a kill shot. But if you go back and listen, like It sounds he, better now. He predicted He said everything. All of this. He said he said And everything. he was like, Hey, don't don't tell the lies about me and I won't tell the truth about you. I, I already can predict your angle. You so know what I'm saying? If you take like, it there, I'll take it further. This is something you don't know uh, to do. And then he goes, Ooh, at the end. I was like, Oh dog. Anyway, shout out to Kendrick. Um, you know, I think yeah. I mean, I like like I feel like generic hip hop fans 
who are just like, you know, real passive, like heads who like, aren't like really, they're just, they listen to Drake and you know, whatever's hot at the time. Like they were very, I just, it was frustrating to deal with people for, for about three weeks. I listen to Drake. People are fucking absolutely ignorant to listen. like the skill level of like Kendrick. At listen, the time. I listen to Drake. Everybody listens I listen to Drake. To Drake it's impossible not to listen to Drake. He's just not better than Kendrick. Like it's not, it's not really even that deep. They're not even in the same. Right. It's not. It's, no, they're not even in the same arena. Exactly. It's like. Kendrick is literally in an arena, quite possibly by himself. Like, it might be him. Like, if we're talking about wordplay, there's, like, guys like, you know, M, like, guys. But it's really Kendrick over here. And then Drake's, like, in an arena with, like, and I'll say J. This. Cole and, like. I'll say this. We'll leave it here. And I don't know this for a fact. This is my opinion. I do not know. Let one of them niggas do a sneak diss or something. He may lay one on a nigga head 30 minutes later again. Just yeah. know that. Just And, I, and that's what I'm watching I'm watching uh, Drake and J. Cole kind of like, they feel like they're walking through landmines now. Like, don't say nothing remotely close to accidentally making us think you about right. to say something. I'm just glad you Cole, might get cracked again. I'm glad Cole pulled out. Smart man. Well, also because he's like a good guy. No, nah, it ain't even that he's a good man. He's smart. He's smart, yeah. He's a genius. He knows what that thing is sitting over there. I call, man, I call him Petty Pendergrass. Yeah. At the end of the day. He's having a ball. Yeah. It's just funny to him. I think maybe maybe in a few years, he'll probably be like, knowing the guy, he'll be like, damn, man, I wish I wouldn't have did that. You know, I probably hurt his career. You know, because he's still the caring man. No. But once you cross the lines, we're talking about that. kids and oh, yeah, yeah. oh it's shoom, shoom, it, off with his head. I remember when uh, when Family Matters came out, I was driving to Phoenix. It was, a, it was Friday night. So, like, he had already put out the, the Compton Freestyle in the morning with the glove. Yeah. And I remember as soon as that shit dropped, I called Head and I was like, oh, he don't got nothing. He's just making shit up now. Like, imagine like the day free thing being like a thing like, oh, you don't, you really don't got shit. You're like, you're desperate. Yeah, like nothing. the motherfuckers who got the worst bars were the most memorable line from Drake. The whole battle was shut the fuck up and make some, yeah, drums. some drums. And then the shit he said about the weekend and ASAP Rocky. Right. He had nothing you could say about Kendrick other than he's a he's a short guy who wears a, a shoes a certain size. Listen, man, that's all he had. Dot works out and raps. That's yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's it. So you were in an actual skill battle. This wasn't like a mud throwing thing. It's the most excited, like I it was the most exciting night of hip hop in my lifetime. Because yeah. I'm in the car and I'm I'm listening to Family Matters like over and over, and I was like, all right, and then. I'm like open Twitter and someone's like, damn, Kendrick didn't even let him breathe. And I'm like, wait, what? It's been like 30. Oh shit. Listen. He dropped. Listen. And then when I'm I'm listening to fucking Meet Listen. the Grams and I'm just like, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna give you some real insight. Is you hearing this first? They drop Family Matters. And I text him, I'm like, this ain't it. He's at, like, at hey, all. I, I'm like, this ain't gonna get it. I was like, man, it's time to step on his head. He was like, say less. I didn't. I'm thinking we just take it. Ain't nothing deep like that. It's. Right. I go to the bathroom. I come back. The motherfucking song is uploaded. I said, wait, 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 wait. I text him like, nigga, you already. He's like, man, I've been waiting for this nigga to drop something. So he didn't even know what he was going against. Man, Drake shot a video and all this shit. Man, when that guy was sitting at the Dodge crib. Caravan. Boom, boom. You listen. Suck the life out of the whole moment. For Drake. Sometimes you just gotta know. What to do and what not to do. Some yeah. people, we all know over here, I'll say this. I've been in the studio with them all. Like, yeah. with all of the greatest people that everybody for sure, thinks for sure. is the yeah, most yeah, talented, for sure. right? I've never seen nothing like that, ever. The boy will go over there, turn on a beat, and be... 20 minutes later, you think he's going to lay eight bar. He lays the whole song with the stacks, with all of them voices, like, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, and this is 2010. Right. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Different motherfuckers is different, man. He's the GOAT. He's the GOAT. He's the GOAT as far as right now, this generation, man. They talked about big three now. It's just big. I think I mean listen, my my GOAT list at this point is really it's either Jay or Kendrick. That's just personally for me. I mean Nas is up there too for me personally, but just like it's just gotta it's it's just to me like I had to restructure my list after this. Yeah, my top 10 offends a lot of people because I got Pac like towards the bottom of it and Lil Wayne's not in my top 10. But uh, Drake 
and it's, because not, I know it's the, Drake ain't be, sniffing be, my top 10. Because I know the type of hip-hop you listen to, I understand your list. No, no, I love Pac. No, I'm just saying, but I know the type of hip-hop you love. I think I got Pac like eight, you know? But, I mean, if you want to go... Little Wayne? If you want to go, if you want to put him on eight, knowing he, influence, only, he, only, he only had a seven-year career, no, no, and influence, you can't do that. No, but influence-wise, he's probably one or two. At 22 years old, he dropped Dear Mama. We oh, got to sure. chill. We got to chill. Listen, we got to chill with some of these, these, these conversations, though. At 20, we got niggas that's talking is it safe about to say heels. Two, okay, is it safe to chili? say Tupac is the most influential rapper ever? Because if he's not one, he's two. Most influential? I think it's Rock Him or Tupac. Influential was tough because I just feel like without because they didn't have and Little Wayne's up there too for the record. Little Wayne is has to be in that conversation. He's in the top three. Pox in that conversation. Uh, Future Snoop Future. has to be in that conversation. Future's in that combo. Future has influenced so much of like and Kanye. I gotta say Yay. I'll take Yay. Yay. I gotta put Yay. I think I'm gonna put Yay as well. Yay's influenced the world on a level. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm looking like that. So it gotta be like Yay. Pac, then I, 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 Wayne. I don't know because because I'm from here. Yeah, it didn't. It it definitely was something we listened to. Mm-hmm. But I didn't want to like look like that. I don't think like these two people I'm talking about. Like I, want I don't to, think like, Jay Z. I don't think Jay Z influenced many people sonically. I'm thinking like the sonics of hip hop. Like I'm like, damn, I can think. Oh, we're of, only talking music. Or no, I'm talking, thinking about influence. The influence on music. Like I'm I, talking I, about overall. I'm thinking like, like, yo, no, overall, it's Kanye. Because you got Tupac who wasn't even going bald wearing a bald head. It's like no, it was a lot of other it, shit it, happening. No, it, it, if we're talking about overall, it's, it's yay. Like overall, Kanye. Pac, yay. Well, it's because a, Kanye's like changed cause, fashion. Because I think seeing a 35 year old Pac would have been an incredible thing to watch. For sure. We don't have that. And in that seven-year span from 18 to 25, bruh, he's still one of the highest streaming artists. He still sure. has people that will just cry over his songs. It's still people trying to emulate that thing. What is your favorite Tupac album? It's either uh, Machiavelli. Which is crazy that that's not on the Tupac profile on Spotify. It's crazy because Blasphemy is probably my favorite Tupac rap song like yeah. the raps yo machiavelli is so fire machiavelli or oh. are, are um the joint before uh me against the world me against the world it's got to be one mine's of me ones. against the world but it's one else too it just it changes but machiavelli I, is probably i listen one. to tupac a ton and yeah. like i'm like i go back and i'm like man machiavelli somehow like obviously because of like the circumstances of it being released but it somehow flies under the radar against me against the world and all eyes on me you know it, why it didn't have like the major features? It's got fucking tossed it up on it. Right. Man. It 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 didn't have it was songs that was unmixed. Oh yeah. Like Blasphemy might be the worst mixed released major release. If you go listen to like the sonics of it, it's very compressed vocals. The bass is hitting like crazy, but he's just talking so crazy on that record. Blasphemy, if you really if y'all go go do your homework on that record. Shout out to uh I, th- I think my favorite Tupac song ever might be it might be can't see me. I don't know. Mm, that shit's hard as fuck. Did Daz do that beat? I think Daz did that Dre. beat. No. No. We should have never Wait. got these bars from Dre. It's uh, niggas and we bang them. I don't think. Day. Hey, I don't think. Did, he, did Dre do can't see me? I mean, let's look it up. We have computers in here. We can get to yeah, it. Yeah, look it up there, fucking Cyrus. <laughs> Make yourself useful. Pick up your fucking iPhone. Get your vegetarian ass. <laughs> 